Okay, I'm going to run through how to add a contact form in WordPress using the contact form 7 plugin. Uh, from the dashboard, go to the contact menu. Um, I've got a few added here already, but we will click on add new for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, we want to add one in English. Now, uh, first thing to do is click on the word untitled and give it a title. So, contact form. <coughs> click anywhere outside. Um, it will be pre-populated with some default fields uh, um, here, just to give you an idea of how everything works. So, each field is two lines. The first line is the English that people see before the form field. So your name and whether it's required or not. Um, this bit here is the code that shows the form field. So in order to get one of those, what you need to do, I'm just going to clear all of this first. Um, well, up to here. Um, what you need to do is go over to generate tag. And we want to generate a text field for this the name of it will be first um, thing here is your name so it will be name um, all of these things can be ignored here ID class size max length um, you can ignore everything else here actually except the top one here sorry required fields will um, make this either required or not so don't make too many fields required at least uh, you know the ones that you really need to have should be the only required ones um, so required fields name and then that generates the code here so if you just right click on that and copy um, paste it in here in the second line that's your first form uh, first form field so we don't need this anymore and just scroll down a little bit here to see the rest of the options um every successful um completion of this form will be sent to whatever email address you specify here the from name um can automatically take who the form came from based on this piece of code here so if i copy that again down here um your email also you'll need to ask for their email here I'm only going to add one form field so I can ignore that for the time being uh, and the subject then can be whatever you want in English contact from website will do here um, on the right hand side here the message body is also important this is the actual data that you'll see in the email when somebody fills in the form so I normally just copy this down to here so um, this is what you will see when the email comes in so you don't really need to see stuff like required or any of the rest of this code here this will basically be name of client or whatever um, we'll just bring this code up onto the next line so <coughs> when the email comes in you'll see name of client and whatever name they have inputted into the form on your site will appear here where this code is so um, there are no other settings that you really need to be concerned with so we'll click save here now what then happens is it generates another code here it prompts you what to do with it copy this code and paste it into your post page or text widget content so if I click on that and copy go into page I'll add a new for this um, we'll call it the one second we'll call this a contact page We come down here and we'll paste that code in there. Simple as that. And um, we'll publish this page. And on the 
front end of the website if we go to contact page um, you'll see on the contact page there we have the one form field that we put in um, we need to put a button there as well actually just to make sure that works fully so we go back to contact <coughs> um, and whatever forms we have added for this website um, will be listed across the top so the last one there is the one that I just added and we need to put a submit button underneath there quite important <laughs> form can't be used without it. Um, it's probably one of the easiest ones to add so all I need to do is copy that default code that was generated there put it in, save again you don't need to go back to the page and re-put the code in simply go back to the page here, refresh and I have a send button there now so if I put my name in and send I should get an email to the email address info at pcproblems.ie and that's all there is to it. Thank you.